What do you think the most viewed photo type would be? No, no, it's not food. It's actually the toilet. It's the toilet. Everybody wants to make sure that the hotel they're going to has a clean bathroom. So the number one viewed photos always are the bathroom. So I ended up setting up my tripod over the toilet seat with the virtual reality camera there. But some of these, I would load them up in the morning and by the evening they had over 100 views of people checking out what the bathroom looks like. I tested it well. I tested all different views. The bedroom, the entryway, the swimming pool, the different aspects of it. Always the number one view, the toilet. And these are the types of things that we need to be aware of to help our customers. If websites for, for hotels that you're doing, if people want to see the bathroom and see it's well equipped and clean, we should be sharing those photos and showing it because that could be the difference between that person getting the booking or not. <laughs> and obviously there's video as well. Has anyone seen much about virtual reality video? Yeah, we've got a couple. Cool, excellent. I really love the video experiences. And you can line them up onto YouTube. If you just put my name in there, Matt Knight, and I have a YouTube channel, it's a VR experiences. One of them, you can go up in a helicopter over that very resort I went into. You can put on a virtual reality headset if you want, but you can still look at it on YouTube. The other thing about YouTube is a lot of the smart TVs now, you have a remote control, and you can move it around and look around the VR experience down in the bottom YouTube TVs. <coughs> so this means that if you're sharing video about a client experience, you can move that video around and look at it. Now, one of the things to be very mindful of with video is that while they share it in a lot of places, they're big files, okay? So quite often I use things like Facebook, YouTube, um, you know, Netflix videos, and other big one. But we're using these platforms to deliver the video in an efficient way. Discovery Channel's done a whole bunch of VR experiences now as well. If you get an Oculus, one of these type of headsets here, this is the gear, Samsung gear. Um, you can do VR experiences with Discovery Channel. So if it takes your fancy to go swimming with great lights, but you don't really want to do it, well, you can do it in virtual reality. And then you don't have to worry about being bitten by a giant shark, which is quite a fear of mine. And I tell you, when you have a great white shark swim past you and you're on, the, on your surfboard, it's pretty scary. Being there, don't want to do it again. All right, so of course, whenever we're making anything on the web, people ask me, what about browser support? Well, there's a great website there, webvr.rocks. Oh, I thought people might cheer for a second there. <laughs> but webvr.rocks, you can come on there and see the support that you have for things, all right? And this means that you can use different frameworks and stuff to start delivering VR through a browser. There's the website right there. You'll see there's different browsers down the bottom. And I'm thankful to say that Microsoft Edge is kicking some goals for us. No longer am I hearing people groan quite so deeply as we used to when people said, can you make sure it works on Internet Explorer? Every developer went, no! Why? Why? Especially when it was IE 7 and 8 days. My goodness. They used to drive me crazy. But thankfully, Windows has really come on age, particularly around the VR experience. So of course we need to talk about platforms today, because even though we have one platform, a web platform, that allows us to freely publish whatever we want anywhere with WordPress, 